Hey there, it's me Eden. Welcome to Cross-Dressing Adventure Stories. Today I'm going to share with you, Cross-Dressing Adventure Story called, Wife Feminized Ungrateful Husband, Part 2. So, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and be a part of our inclusive community. About 8 that night, the phone rang and it was Joyce. She said that what worked for Tom will probably do the same for Joe. Barbara is going to write you out what will look like two huge prescriptions and you must follow the directions to the letter. Just tell him they are vitamins or tranquilizers to help him deal with his reverse performance anxiety and I'm sure he'll take them in a heartbeat. And Karen, you will see some changes in Joe although not immediately. They may be very subtle at first, but you'll both notice interesting personality and other developments when they really take hold. I hope you are pleased with the results. He should become a very mellow fellow. Okay, Joyce, but you're being awfully mysterious about this. You know how I love Mystery Karen. Besides, it will be more fun this way for both of you. When can I get the scripts? The mystery is part of the fun of it and I'll get them for you and you'll have them in a couple days. And if you don't enjoy Joe's changes, just stop the pills. I just want to mellow him out Joyce and make him a little more appreciative about girl stuff. Then I think you will be very pleased, honey. Just follow the directions and he will definitely acquire a better appreciation for your side of things. They said their goodbyes and Karen was feeling like there may be some light at the end of this moody tunnel of Joe's after all. She had read about how sometimes a chemical imbalance can cause mood swings and was really hoping that whatever Joyce came up with would cure Joe and make him easier to live with. She certainly got a little jumpy before her visitor came every month. When Joe got home on Thursday, she had the prescriptions, 500 pills of one and 200 of the other. She put them in the pantry with the vitamins so that he wouldn't forget to take them. She did think it a bit odd that they didn't have labels on them, but she knew the dosage, so it didn't matter. Karen told him that they were tranquilizers and that he has to take increased doses up to a point until they are both satisfied the desired effect has been reached. He was to start with one a day, then two, one morning and night, and then three, one morning and two in the evening, then two both morning and evening, until he gets used to them and so that they will not cause a sudden upset to his system. The ones from the smaller bottle he was only to take at one a day. Joe was so pleased that Karen had found something to help him he readily agreed to the program taking one of each that evening. Karen told Joe not to expect too much right away. So Joe was not too disappointed when the same old thing happened for the next several weeks. Oh, well, nothing works all the time, Karen thought. However, by the end of the third week, he was slowing down a bit and not getting so excitable and this pleased both of them. Karen was finally beginning to enjoy some fun in the bedroom. And he seemed a little more calm as well. At six weeks, he was up to three pills a day and was mellowing out some, especially his attitude with her and all the a-girl uh, stuff that slowed her down with the getting dressed and the makeup and all. In fact, he had taken to just sitting there in the bedroom watching her do her thing and wondered how he could ever go through all that trying to look pretty. But, at least, he now understood from watching her and was patient with her. Man, being a girl takes a lot of time, he thought. I wonder if I would ever have that much patience much less talent. How weird. 
Why am I even asking myself that question? After they finished the fun part that night, he couldn't find his pajamas. They are in the wash. I should be able to get to it by tomorrow sometime, okay? She walked over to her closet and came back with her Victoria's Secret PJS, maroon with pretty white piping around the edges, and held them up to him. Use these, honey. I'm sure that they will fit and I know you don't like to sleep in the nude or just your briefs. Those are girls' pajamas, Karen. Really? I hadn't noticed, she added with a little wink. And so who is going to see you besides your ever-loving wife from whom you have no secrets anyway? Am I going to take out an ad in the new paper? I don't care if you're a little prettier than usual. I might even enjoy it. All right, but where are my bikinis? Same place, in the wash. Here, take these. They match the PJS. Her matching panties were rather plain, but made of the silkiest nylon, nothing like the brushed nylon of his own. I don't think I should be doing this, he said. Take them. You may like them. There really isn't that much difference, is there? No, I guess not, except I'll have to sit to pee. Well, for heaven's sake, I should think that would be a relief, not having to stand there and worry about aiming. Joe put them on and then the PJS. The moderate bulge looked a bit out of place, but when he slipped into the bottoms, it disappeared. He didn't say anything to Karen about it, but the silky feeling of her night clothes got him a little excited again. Not being used to sensuous clothing, this was a new experience for him and a rather pleasant one, much to his surprise. He had seen something similar to them in some of the better men's shops, but somehow, Wearing Karen's was a real turn-on. He was in forbidden territory and it was a bit of a turn-on. Joe did notice that they buttoned the opposite way and the bottoms seemed to be a little on the long side though. However, he soon fell all seep. The next morning, Joe got up for work and, still finding the feel of Karen's panties rather appealing, left them on after realizing that his were still in the wash anyway. He reminded himself he'd have to squat the rest of the day, but he still kept them on. She caught him before he pulled his pants up and grabbed his cheeks clad in her silky underwear, pulling him close to her copping a feel of his butt and told him, Honey, these are just for sleeping. These are for wearing as she handed him a pair of her regular mid-hip style satiny spandex. Karen, I can't. How much choice is there, she countered. You were going to wear the other ones, weren't you? Good point. Okay, and he pulled them on, tucking himself in a little, not something he would ordinarily do, but it wouldn't seem natural to have a bulge in pretty panties. It was like having a really tight jock strap on he thought, but they really felt nice, gave him a sense of security somehow with that spandex hugging his privates. The next night was a repeat performance with Karen apologizing about the laundry, but she got involved with his company books and her volunteer time at the library and just didn't get to it. Joe thanked her for the loan and she gave him a fresh pair of panties that again matched the pajamas. He mentioned to her that the pajamas seemed a little long. She countered with, Oh, well, you should really be wearing high-heeled mules or regular high heels for just lounging in those and they would hang just right. They make them a little long on purpose. He could see that she was in a playful mood and she was getting out her manicure kit. Sit, Joe. Your feet need a little work. They're out of place in those pretty PJs. Karen, what are you doing? 
giving you a nice pedicure. Now be still and just sit there. Humor me. Okay. What have I got to lose? When she was done, he had very well-groomed, snag-free but rosy toes. Cute, Karen. And you expect me to leave this on? Sure. Why not? Sigh, and in the morning, there was also a repeat performance except that Joe now mentioned to Karen that he was beginning to understand why she liked all this slinky stuff after spending another night in her pajamas. Your slinky PJS really do feel good against my skin, he stated. Well, if you really like them, Joe, we can get you your own. You know they make the very same thing for men now too although I think it is a little heavier material. Joe replied, I think I'll have to chew on that a while, and I'm not sure I'd want them heavier material anyway. Okay. I like these just fine. These what, Joe? Okay, I was talking about the silk panties too, he added looking away very quickly, before she could catch the expression on his face. Oh, you like those? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I do. Well, maybe you should have some of your own of those too, honey, if you really like them. Yeah, maybe. What am I saying? I want to wear silky panties now. Have mercy. I'm already in ladies' pajamas and loving it. As they prepared for bed the following night, Karen noticed that the maroon pajamas were becoming soiled and wrinkled and threw them in the hamper and presented Joe with a complete white ensemble just like the maroon ones complete with the matching white silk mules with two and a half heels. Joe said, thanks. I believe I would like to have some of these PJs. They feel so good. Slipping the mules on his feet, just out of curiosity, of course, he stood up and noticed at once how well the PJS now hung all the while noticing not only how he was teetering on the heels but also the erection that they seemed to be eliciting. These are still too long though except with these high-heeled slippers. So, if you want them to hang right, I guess you'll just have to get comfortable with the mules, honey. I really would rather you didn't drag the hems, especially those white ones, on the carpet. Well, for heaven's sake. He actually put on the heels. Imagine that. Must be some of those changes Joyce was talking about. He walked cautiously over and looked at himself in the full-length mirror his pink toes peeking out of his slippers and being thankful for his tight panties, walked cautiously over to the bed and shucking his slippers, shook his head and crawled under the covers. It had now been seven weeks since Joe began his tranquilizers. Karen rolled over and said, Honey, you don't really need to go out and spend all that money on new PJs. I already have four sets and you said you liked my lighter weight ones. We can share, okay? In fact, feel free to use anything of mine you take a fancy to, anything. I really don't mind. You know, if it feels good, okay, it? All right. I know they are girls, but I wasn't looking forward to putting out another $100 on pajamas anyway. Thanks. From that night on, there were high-heeled slippers on both sides of the bed and Joe was getting used to them and his silky PJS and was never without his panties. Another week had gone by and Joe was now really beginning to feel the effects of the tranquilizers and had deserted his men's bikinis for Karen's exclusively. She told him she was going to take his old cotton underwear and give it away, and I'm going to get you some pretties of your own, all right? Fine, he said. 
I like the feeling of silky nylon on me. Karen was already in bed reading and as he walked in from the bathroom, he caught a glimpse of himself in his Victoria's Secret pajamas and matching white high-heeled mules in the mirror on the back of the bedroom door. Yes, he got tired of them being too long and just as she had suggested, decided to try walking in the heels and was becoming more accustomed and comfortable with them and the bottoms did hang better. Of course, he had to develop a very girlish walk to handle the heels with small, careful steps. Karen noticed that when he was walking away from her, she would have sworn it was another girl. These must be some of those subtle little changes Joyce was talking about. Fascinating and delightfully kinky too. I can't wait to see what's next. He did a double take when passing the mirror and then thought out loud, No, that's ridiculous. What did you say, honey? Nothing. I was just admiring your pajamas in the mirror. Oh. They are pretty, aren't they, and a perfect fit on you too, well except on top of course. You look almost as cute in them as I do, she teased. Yes, I suppose I do, he teased back but I never thought of me enjoying wearing them or thinking about being pretty or liking wearing these slippers. I'd have never believed I'd enjoy wearing sexy high heels. They make me feel so sensual, so naughty. It makes me feel like I'm an apprentice girl or something. It's hard to explain. They do that for me too, Joey. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? Yes, it is, and I can't believe I just said that. Girls do get to enjoy some nice sensations, Joe, she said. I love my sexy girl clothes and you seem to like my panties and PJs better than yours too. I've got a pair of white evening sandals that look really hot with those white PJs, she said. Maybe you'd like to try them instead. I think you may be surprised at just what you may come to enjoy. Without further comment, he pulled back the sheet and came to bed. What he didn't tell her was that what he noticed in the mirror was truly a girl without makeup with a long, full head of hair and what had to be her nipples, his tender, expanding nipples, protruding in the top of the PJ set. It wasn't like he actually had little prepubescent breasts, was it? But there were definitely bumps there, not a hard masculine chest. He checked when he got under the covers and he rolled on his side away from Karen. Definitely. Tender bumps, too. Silk and high heels and tender bumps. Hmm. Careful, Joe. You're really beginning to enjoy all this girly stuff a little too much, aren't you? Maybe you'd like to trade places with Karen for a while. Karen had been doing a lot of the same things with his chest lately that he did with hers and his areola seemed to be turning softer and getting larger and ever more tender. They had gone from perhaps the size of a nickel up to the size of a half dollar. I wonder if all this playing and sucking on me is causing this, he thought. Well, what the heck? If it feels good, enjoy it, right, and it sure does feel good. Besides, he liked her doing that stuff to him and it did feel good. That night before Joe was completely undressed, Karen went to her closet and brought out one of her slinkiest ankle-length silk nightgowns with a fitted bodice, trimmed in soft lace. It was rose-colored and she held up the pair of PJs and the gown and said, Would you like to try something that feels quite erotic and looks very sexy? He did like the PJs, but the gown was just too tempting. It was fitted down to the waist and then fell into a somewhat tight skirt at the bottom. 
he was going to have to change the way he walked, the length of his stride in particular. He loved it on her and the idea of wearing it got him pretty excited. He knew he wouldn't fill the top though, or would he? Perhaps a little? He could feel himself begin to flush. It was just too much to resist. Joe chose the gown and, after slipping it over his head, it slithered down his body and caused him waves of pleasurable sensations so much so that he had an accident in his panties. Karen was effusive in her praise of how nice it looked on him, even without makeup, she said. That comment did not get past him this time although he had other things on his mind at the moment. It was unlike anything he had ever worn, so slinky and sexy. Damn, he thought, even I look like a fox in this. I wonder how it would look with a little lipstick, went over to Karen's vanity, chose a rose shade and put some on with as much expertise as he could muster. Having spent so much time watching her prepare herself finally paid off. He did a credible job. His lips were a luscious, deep rose, smooth and sensual. What in the world made me do that? Oh, Joey, you do look hot in that with a little color in your face. He ran his hands over his developing body and he and his goosebumps came to bed. They kissed, their lipsticks blending for the first time. He rolled over and went to sleep after taking his two tranquilizers. Aww. What the heck, and he took another. He fell asleep debating about the evening sandals. I bet they really would look hot. The next day, Joyce called to check on Joe's progress and Karen filled her in with a rather detailed report. Joyce asked her if any of this was upsetting her and she replied, No, actually, it's kind of fun watching all this. Kinky, but fun. I think if I don't watch it, he's going to go all girly on me. I told you that you'd see some changes and that he would gain an appreciation for your girl stuff. I just hoped it wouldn't get too weird for you. How are his bust and butt coming and how is he feeling about all this? Joyce, I think he is absolutely loving it. He actually put on some lipstick last night after I gave him a choice of my slinkiest gown or the peach AS and chose the right shade to go with the gown and he's gotten quite adept at manages his high heels too. All right, said Joyce, then it's time to up his dosage but cut him back to about 23 or 24 days a month and let his body begin to cycle like ours does and see what happens. After his bosom really comes in, he may even start lactating. That should be fun in bed. I guess I don't have to wonder what those vitamins are anymore, do I, Joyce? No, I think you have the picture now. What happens from now on is pretty much up to you. He doesn't have much choice in the matter. If you keep him on this therapy, he is going to definitely appreciate things from your point of view because he won't want to do anything else. He'll begin thinking like a girl too. The next morning, Joe complained to Karen that his chest had been rather sore lately and that his cotton t-shirts were irritating him. Karen figured out a solution right away. Here, honey. Put on this camisole under your t-shirt and that should keep the rubbing to a minimum. Don't you think that this is pretty slinky for a guy to be wearing to work, even under his t-shirt? Not if his nipples are tender, she said, and I can't think of any other answer at the moment. Try it today and see if it helps. You like the panties and the gown and slippers, don't you? Okay. I'll try it. Oh, and by the way, as of today you need to take one more pill morning and evening. 
Whatever you say, Han, he certainly has been agreeable lately, she thought. I wonder how he's going to feel when he can't get into a man's shirt anymore. It's a small step from a nightgown to a dress. He's getting so soft and cute looking. I wonder if he has a clue about how soft and pretty he's becoming. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Please share your valuable opinion in the comment.